you want to have flawless CNC parts and nice chamfers and segment operations, you need to know exactly where your part is. For example, take a look at these two chamfers. They were milled in two setups. Chances are your CNC machine is a big block of aluminum and I asked my best friend what he thinks about this. And as you can see, this gets even worse if you add errors from your components. Using a touch probe is not only great for one-off parts, but also to monitor processes in your production. Since having my automated touch probe, I use it approximately 10 times per day and would never go without it. I have this very common Chinese touch probe. You can buy them in a variety of online shops. They have a pipettability of 0.01 of a millimeter. I have the normally open configuration, but they are also available in normally closed. I totally recommend this because you can check for the connection. It's very essential in my setup because I connected it with these pogo pins to load it in my tool magazine and pick it up automatically. However, to this day, I never had a connection problem. I need to invert the normally open signal for my CNC controller with this inverter and to check for the connection I just trigger the probe with every tool change like you see here. At first when inserting the probe you need to adjust the run out with this Allen key right here. Here you should easily reach the micron range. We then start a calibration routine where we zero our work coordinate system and mill a hole with known diameter at the zero point. Then we pick up or insert the probe and jog to XY0 where the center of the hole is. We expect this hole to have a diameter of 10 millimeters. In our calibration macro we check if that's really true for all fall directions. So minus X, plus X, minus Y and plus Y. What's important here is that we don't turn the probe during operation. In my case it's constrained by the plug with the probe pins. Check out the parameters that will give us the last bit of precision. To show you that this really made the difference, I quickly probed the milled pocket in another coordinate system, just for fun and looked at the deviation from the original one. With this result, the touch probe is the last one to optimize for precision in my machine. What's very useful when you have different work holding features and fixtures mounted on your machine bed is being able to probe them automatically with only one click. Therefore we wrote this subroutine that saves all work coordinate systems and you can choose which one it should probe automatically in a row. That's what you can see here. For one of jobs I randomly choose any coordinate system and because I would totally mess this up and override my saved fixtures we have a separate calibration routine where you can probe your vices or special pockets where you refer to in your CAM software. If I now probe another part during the day these calibrated offsets won't be overridden. Now we have a super precise probe in our tool magazine. It should be easy to automate everything and just call for probing in Fusion 360. However, my adding post processor doesn't support this and that's why I will show you a really nice workaround. For this we created this box and head over to manufacture. Here I created a manufacturing model where I inserted my machine table as a derive. I now can place my part exactly where it is in real life and work with a global coordinate system that I use for probing. After putting it in my vise I leave the manufacturing model area, go to a setup and specify my stock dimensions and also where I want to set the origin. In this case we will use coordinate system 2 so G55 for this operation. And now I have created a template for corner probing in this case. That's just manual G code that will be passed through in the post processor so I can hard code anything here. It's not very beautiful but it works and it's safe. Um, just be careful, you really need to know what you do here with your own machine. I use G54 as a global coordinate system and you can just enter these coordinates from Fusion with a little offset into this template. So for X we have 
100 for y we have 55 and for z we go down to 110 before executing the uh, probing routine. When going down we measure if there is any tripping of the sensor we will call for an error message. Then before probing we change to G55 so our work coordinate system and here we have some init values for probing so which corner and so on. Now in this precision test we first phase off the part. After that we mill a outer contour with a 6mm two flute end mill and then we will do another spring pass here before in a second setup probe the milled corner again and just check on a different height so this time 5 millimeters instead of 10 if we see any mismatch or precision failure between these two contours. At first I thought the part turned out flawlessly uh, because I didn't see any edge on three sides. For example on this side the tool didn't engage at all. On this one also. But then on the back side with the lighting here in the machine you can clearly see an edge. I promise you if you hide this edge in your chamfer with a second operation you won't notice it at all. On the fourth side I could barely see any edge or anything which means the precision in the x-axis is even better. As always making these videos is a lot of work for me. I'm blessed to do this and want to bring value to you. If you find the video helpful or useful or have any questions please leave them in the comments and I'm happy to see you in the next video. Thank you.